हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ए एस सैयद आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द कोर्स ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स दिस इज स्पेशली फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस कोर्स सो वट इज इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ द फोर्सेस और सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी राइट इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स डिस्क्राइब द बिहेवियर ऑफ बॉडी अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस द बॉडी मे बी एट अ रेस्ट पोजिशन और अंडर द मोशन कंडीशन सो बॉडी इन द सेंस हियर इन इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स बॉडी मे बी फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर टू द बिग स्ट्रक्चर like uh, at a rest position means you can consider as a bridges which are the structures or body at a rest position or you can consider aeroplane which is under the motion so what is the effect of force study about the forces acting on such bodies is nothing but engineering mechanics right engineering mechanics has different domains or branches such as engineering mechanics statics engineering mechanics dynamics it means in static engineering mechanics we are learning the forces which are acting on the body which is at a rest position and in uh, dynamics we are learning about the forces which are acting on a body which is under motion then we have engineering mechanics of solid this is also one important branch of mechanics where the uh, we, we are learning the uh, effect of forces on a deformable body what happen to body when the forces are acting so study about that body is nothing but mechanics of solids and study uh, study about the forces only forces is engineering mechanics then there is one more branch of mechanics that is fluid mechanics where students are learning about the forces acting on a fluid right so study about the mechanics of fluid is nothing but fluid mechanics then similarly forces are also acting on the soil right so study about the forces acting on a soil is a soil mechanics there is also one specialized uh, branch of mechanics that is fracture mechanics so overall in engineering mechanics we are learning about the forces which are acting on the body right now what is force means so if a force acting on a body what is a force force is any external agent which change the state of a body state means which change the body from rest or motion right so force is an external agent capable of changing a body state of a rest or motion that force can be of a push type or pull type these are two nature of forces push type means you are pushing the object right you are pushing the object like this that is called as push type and pull type means you are pulling the object so in pull type of force the force is going away from the point of application this is called as pull type of force and in push type of force force is coming toward the point of application right so these are the two nature of forces which changes the state of a body for example if you consider this block green color block it is shifting from this position to another position after pulling or pushing the uh, block so it is called as the ex any external agent agent which is changing the state of a body is called as a force so uh, these are the another examples of the forces for example you are pulling the rope right you are pulling the rope you are pushing the block like this or pulling the block these are all types of forces right. now force has few characteristics like force has magnitude force has direction force has point of application and also line of action right if you take an example of one irregular body this blue colored irregular body where 
one force is acting so this black colored arrow represent the force acting on a body so the point if you consider this point where this force is acting so this point is called as point of application right now at this point of application this black color arrow represent the force this is push type of force acting at suppose if you assume point of application is a so we can say that force suppose f force f push type of force f is acting at point a right now if you draw a line which in the direction of this force so this line represent the line of action okay so line of action means a direction in which the force is acting the line representing that direction is called as line of action <coughs> okay if you write down the angle made by this force with respect to positive x axis or x axis it is called as direction of a force so f is a magnitude theta represent the direction a is the point of application and the dotted line represent the line of action these are the four important characteristics of any force now what is the unit of force unit of force is newton right we can represent it like 1 kg is equal to 9.81 newton this is relation between kg kilogram and newton what is the meaning of this it means if you take 1 kg block if you want to move that 1 kg block with the acceleration of 1 meter per second square you required a force 1 newton it means a force required to move 1 kg block with 1 meter per second square acceleration that force is called as 1 newton force okay <coughs> now system of force a system of force means group of forces acting on a body when number of forces acting on a body combinedly these number of forces are called as system of force for example if you consider one irregular body and suppose a number of forces are acting like this this these are the forces acting on this body right so combinedly all these force together is called as system of force okay for example like this if you look at this picture you will find out that there are two push type of forces applied by these two kids one kid is sitting his weight acting vertically downward right then is some resistance offered by the uh, road to the wheel there is one force applied so like this combinedly if you look at this picture you will find that there is multiple forces acting on the object so this is called as system of force right there are various types of uh, system of forces right so system of force is mainly divided into two types first one is coplanar force system second is non coplanar force system under coplanar force system there are again sub types that is collinear force system concurrent force system parallel force system non concurrent non parallel force system right these are the four types of coplanar and under non coplanar force system again there is a concurrent force system parallel force system and non concurrent non parallel force system these are the types of system of forces we will discuss all the system of forces one by one in the next slide right now what is coplanar force system coplanar force system means when all forces are acting in a single plane okay all of you know that any at any point there are three mutually perpendicular plane if you draw x axis y axis vertical and then uh, z axis all of you know that there are three plane this plane is called as xz plane which is horizontal right this vertical plane is called as xy plane and this plane is called as yz plane so at any point there are three mutually perpendicular plane so if all forces are acting in a single plane all forces are acting in a single plane it is called as coplanar force system so definition is when the lines of action of a set of force lies in a single plane it is called as coplanar force system right 
for example like this there is one plane xy plane and three forces pqs acting in a one plane so there is second type is non coplanar force system so it is just opposite definition to coplanar if in coplanar all forces are lies in a single plane so in non coplanar forces are not lies in a single plane forces lies in a different plane so it is called as non coplanar for example if you look at these two forces are in xz plane these two forces are in xy plane right so this is called as non coplanar force system when forces or line of action of forces do not lie in one plane it is called as non coplanar force system okay now next type of force system is concurrent force system concurrent force system means when line of action of all forces is passing through a single point right for example if you take one point and number of forces are acting but all forces are passing through the same point this is called as concurrent force system okay there is a point of application this point all forces are passing through the same point this is called as concurrent right like this if you look at this picture this is the point and all forces are passing through the same point they are intersect with each other at one point this is called as concurrent force system okay there is one more example if you take if you have a triangle suppose if you consider one triangle and one force is acting here one force is acting like this to here and one force is here if you look at these three forces these are acting at different three different points but if you extend the line of action of force like this this force is passing through this point only so line of action means you can mark here similarly this force is passing through the same point so finally if you look at the line of action of this force and line of action of this force is also passing to this point where this force is acting so in short this is concurrent force system so all forces line of action of all forces passing through the same point it is called as concurrent force system and opposite to that if line of action of all forces not meeting at a single point it is called as non concurrent force system for example like this this force is acting like this this force is acting like this so this is crossing point common point but other forces are here this force is here so they will not meet meet to each other never at a single point they will meet so this is called as non concurrent force system the forces are acting at different points and never their line of action are line of action are meeting at a single point such force system is called as non concurrent force system then there is collinear force system collinear force system means when line of action of all forces acting on a body are in the same line right for example if you consider one body and one force is like this okay acting at this point so the other forces in the same line means second force suppose it like this so their line of action is same if you draw a line their line of action is same such forces are called as collinear force system when the line of action of all forces of a system act along the same line right another example if you take this one a rectangular bar suppose if you assume one rectangular bar and three forces are acting on this one point second and third but if you draw line of action of all three forces it is a common line same line of action for all three so these forces are called as collinear force system next is parallel force system that word itself represent the meaning of this parallel force system all forces are parallel to each other line of action of all forces are parallel to each other those are called as parallel force system okay for example like this two forces parallel to each other three forces parallel now there are uh, again two types sub uh, sub types or sub classes of parallel force system that is like parallel force system and unlike parallel force system like and unlike parallel force system 
so what is like parallel force system when all forces are going in the same direction like this upward both are going upward when all forces are going in a same direction and parallel to each other those forces are called as like parallel forces and if any force which is going opposite direction but parallel so two are going upward and one is coming downward but those all three are parallel to each other so this is called as unlike parallel force system they are parallel but all forces are not going in a same direction one force or more than one force are opposite to each other so this is called as unlike parallel force system okay so these are the types of system of force now there is one important property of a force or principle of force which is called as principle of transmissibility it's very important principle principle of transmissibility the principle of transmissibility state that the point of application of force if any force acting on a body the point of application of force can be transferred anywhere on its line of action its effect on the body does not change for example if you consider one body like this and if you apply one force here right one force f so what will happen to this body that this body will move in upward direction this direction okay now instead of pushing this uh, body at this point if you pull this body with the same force from this point the body will again move upward it means instead of pushing now here we are applying the pull type of force so it means that along the line of action if you draw a line like this this is called as line of action on this line of action if you change the location of this force like this if you apply the force anywhere on, on its line of action its effect on the body does not change okay this is called as principle of transmissibility it means we can transfer that force anywhere on its line of action that is principle of transmissibility right so similar you can see from the example like this here it is f force and here it is f force so here it become pull type of force right and here it become push type of force but the effect of this force on the body is same right so on this line of action anywhere if you apply this p f like this its effect does not change right similarly you can take one example this one here it is push type here it is pull type so this force is transfer here like this okay so this is line of action so on its line of action you can transfer anywhere the effect of this force on the body does not change that is a principle of transmissibility okay so these are the some fundamentals of engineering mechanics in the next class we'll see what is resultant methods of finding the resultants and what is equilibrium of a body okay thank you thank you very much